shape. I'm starting out by giving myself a haze of color around the outside. And you notice I'm going back over to I give myself a basic shape, and then I'll go back over it a lot to really get the saturation into it. Okay, now I'm going to take my glue, glue my stencil real quick. Yep, I put the glue on the stencil, not the shirt. Now I'm going to come in, take my cloud design. I'm taking magenta and I'm just laying in some light clouds. I'm not worried about overspray or anything like that right now. It's just going to add in. <clears throat> now I'm going to take the bottom of that and use it as a straight edge. Use that same magenta. Give myself a little line there. Okay. Now I'm going to come in, <clears throat> add water lines. A good rule of thumb about these is thinner at the top, thicker at the bottom. That will give you the illusion of depth. Okay. Coming back in with the paint, I'm just blasting it in. Clean off a little tip dry. Come in with a little yellow. I'm going to use the yellow and the pink mixed together on the shirt to make orange. Give me kind of a sunsetty color. Okay, again, I'm really saturating that. You'll see me go back and forth over this a bunch of times to really get that saturation in. I'm adding in a few step clouds in the sky. Long dagger strokes. Softer at the end. I'll pick back up my glue can, put it down, use that for a sun. The reason I'm using the can and not the cap the can is a lot longer. I don't get paint all over my hands if I use the cap. Add a few little clouds down here to soften up that transition. Bring my pink back in. Really blasting that in over and over. Really bumping up the saturation with that. Adding a little transition to around the sun. Come back with my yellow, add that into the sky. I'm kind of mimicking the colors I put in the water because what's down in the water has been reflected from the sky. A little bit of yellow in the sun. Now I'm going to take my pink, come in right over the top of the magenta to add a little depth to these step clouds. Okay, now I'm going to pick up my black and I'm going to add a little bit of sea oats to it. Where I live, we have these and they, they kind of grow in the sand dunes and help keep the sand dunes from blowing away during storms or, you know, adverse weather. So we like to put these in our designs versus palm trees because we don't have palm trees where we are. I'm just using real small dagger strokes to get the uh, tops of the sea oats in. Okay. Now I'm going to peel up my stencil, which gave me kind of the illusion of a dune. I'm going to take purple, pull it right off the edge of these sea oats that kind of shadowed down. I'm going to pick up the magenta again. <laughs> Pulling a little bit of a shadow line in the dune. Blend that in with the pink a little bit. 
You notice how the pink will work really well with that magenta and kind of soften up that transition. And I'm going to come back in here again, saturating the color in really well. Okay. Now, the last thing we're going to do, I'm going to add a couple of birds. Just basically V daggers. And how do you spell that name again? S H E R R Y. Okay. So this is what we're going to do now. I'm going to add the name to it. What this is going to do is set this design off, all right? It's going to make this sell. This by itself would sell okay. With, this, with the name added to it, it's going to sell great. Okay, now after everything you guys have learned today, you all should be able to do that, no problem, right? I'm gonna come back in with purple, give myself a little bit of a drop shadow. Come back in with the black. Sticking up my downstrokes just a bit. And this is just for a little bit of extra punch. It really didn't need it. And right there you have one of the top selling designs in our shop. We get about $18 for that every day.